Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new, we do movie and series reviews and monthly wrap up tier list. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, consider hitting that subscribe button. So we just watched The Batman and these are just gonna be our after the theater thoughts. That's my brother Jesse over there. See? Jesse. And of course, I already know Desiree. Um, now, technically, Jesse didn't see the movie with us, but Eddie did. But Eddie's inside with my mom still shopping. Oh, actually, here they come. Okay, so we're going to do this really quickly because my mom's literally like right outside waiting to come inside. So, um, spoiler free review. What did you guys think about it? I liked it. I liked it too. Like, <laughs> there are some times where I thought it was already over because it was starting to like decline, mm -hmm. but then all of a sudden something else happens and it's like another uh, climax peak, whatever, in the part of the movie. And I'm like, what? I really enjoyed it. All the characters the, are awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I liked all the characters. I enjoyed it very, very much. Everybody, go see, sorry. <laughs> I ran out of breath. How do you do that? Go see it at theaters. And IMAX, preferably. Let me tell you guys real quick what happened before I go. So, I am late giving this review to you guys because, like, I'm not going to say whose fault it was because at the end of the day, really, it was everybody's fault. But, like, I'm really going to blame this one over here, but I'm not really going to say who I'm blaming. But, like, <laughs> we went to the wrong theater on Thursday, you guys. Like, we thought it was one theater, and then we got there, and this one goes, why are we here? And we're supposed to be in this other one. We're like, are you freaking kidding me? And, like, the movie was, about like, already starting. And the thing is that the, the IMAX at the theater, that's close to us the seats are very narrow and it's very uncomfortable and this movie's like a three hour long and i was like i don't want to do that but it is filmed in imax so i wanted to have the imax experience mind you i really really love dolby so we're like you know what we'll go to the other one uh with the good imax seats so we had to wait till saturday uh but anyway um just again very quickly mm -hmm. i really enjoyed it as well i honestly didn't feel the three hours um at all um there were times where it did kind of like linger like linger but it, we probably could have done without but at the end of the day it was really really good um not your typical like batman is very like noir type batman it is more of a investigation more of um yeah more of that the investigator we really don't see a lot of bruce wayne either it is basically the batman and even when he is bruce wayne he's not your typical bruce wayne like mr playboy he's very like um emo <laughs> very emo type with the bangs covering his face but you know robert patterson did absolutely amazing as the batman as even as bruce wayne because i mean it was like a different type of bruce wayne like i said but he did a very very good job i know people were giving him shit because they don't want to get him out of the whole twilight deal but like, you guys he needed it yeah, I need to get these people out of, you know, that's what they did when they were younger. There's a whole other time in their era. Get them out of it. He did an amazing job. Colin Farrell, totally unrecognizable as a penguin. Mm -hmm. I had to keep, literally keep thinking, wow, that's Colin Farrell. Like, wow. Um, what's his face as the Riddler? I can't remember his name. Awesome. Like, he yeah. literally. Jim yes. Carrey better, though, when he did it. Well, it's a different type. It's yeah, more it's... darker here. Yeah. And Jim Carrey was definitely more, like, comedic. And I really like the 90s Batmans, like those cheesy ones. Yeah. I personally prefer those. I'm honestly not even a fan of the uh, Dark Knight trilogy. I know people are, like, always, like, raving and, oh, my God, it's the best shit ever. And for me, it's really not. Like, I do have a review for the last two Batman ones. So you can guys you guys can check those out here. But I definitely do prefer, like, the 90s Batmans, the, the cheesiness factor to it uh but this one definitely is darker before we give you our score because i kind of see my mom on the on the on my peripheral like talking about like we need to hurry up um, hey, i'm getting hot yeah me? um if you haven't already go ahead and give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit, get this video uh no sorry <laughs> lord subscribe comment share Turn notification bells on, all of that. What are you guys giving it? Large. Large. Large as well. If you've seen the Batman, let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Are you planning on checking out? Are you going to skip on it? What's your favorite fat, fat man? <laughs> What's your favorite Batman movie? Who is your Batman? Do you think Robert Pattinson did a good job or a great job as the Batman, as Bruce Wayne? Like I said, it's a totally different aspect to it. He, they, they did it differently. Very dark tones, very noir type. Almost kind of gives you his like... relationship with, with Catwoman. Catwoman, yeah. Yes. Very different. Yeah, I love Zoe Kravitz. She did absolutely amazing. Like, everybody did really great. Oh, the score also was absolutely wonderful. I think I didn't forget to mention that. All right, until next time, see you guys at concessions. Bye.